y'all can you believe wd-40 did not even work on this chair it <laughs> I'm so tired. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with the bomb makeup challenge. Now some of these brands, I'm just going to put out the disclaimer here. Some of these brands, although they are friendly for women of color, of any race or creed, um, they actually aren't black owned, which is upsetting because you know you want to see that i personally want to see that diversity and i you know i'm just a little disappointed in myself that i didn't get like aj crimson i wanted to get some of his foundations and i just just i couldn't um at this time so but i will soon because i actually want to build up my kit with those products because they're so anyway um i actually will leave list um everything listed down below that i used for this makeup tutorial and i wanted to keep it in the spirit of just kind of branching out i know a lot of women that shop at the drugstore unless you're you know darker than tan you are not going to be looking at these brands uh black radiance black opal is two of the main brands that i have here i have some colored rain here and some juvia's place stuff so pardon the hair in the face i tried to do my research on these brands and disappointingly enough um some of these brands are just not black owned like the ceo is not a person of color or any melanin at this point from what i saw um but anyway guys i welcome you guys to inform me down below of any good black owned makeup brands because not only do i need to expand my kits i also need to expand my personal collection because i am a makeup addict <laughs> so um anyway guys i'm actually going to get started oh i'm so tired guys i've been up all night anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get started there was something that i needed to start off with and i forgot so the only things that i'm not gonna use um, that are from a specific place are my brushes I'm just gonna use my good old trusty brushes and my homemade setting spray this I make with uh, glycerin and toner so I already sprayed my face because I needed a little bit of tackiness and moisture I'm gonna start off with a little baby sample of the skin tone brightening cream um, I just feel like any moisture is good moisture for my skin and I like that they gave me a sample I actually picked this out this is the black opal so I went online to get some black opal stuff because my, oh, mmm, mmm, oh my god, I think it smells like coconut. Ooh, this is very thick and creamy, I probably put too much, but it's okay. This actually feels lush. I'm getting itchy though. I'm itchy because the cat just attacked me because he loves when I wear black and he's like, oh, oh, you're wearing, oh, you're wearing dark color. I need you to love me like now and I'm stupid enough to do it. So I picked up a couple skin items from Black Opal. The first thing I got was the, what is this? The first thing I picked up was the cream stick foundation and this one's in the shade Cool Nude and I figured I could probably use it to highlight because these bags need Jesus. And I also picked up the True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. I swatched this on the side of my face one day just because I wanted to make sure if it oxidized or anything like that, that when I did this challenge, I can work with it. Um, so I'm actually going to go in with the foundation stick. Again, this one's in Cool Nude. And I'm going to go right in. I'm going to go right in. And it's actually a good skin match for me, which is crazy because... You think cool nude and you're like oh it's probably too cool tone but i figured this is probably a lot of product so i'm going to count my losses okay i'm going to take my beauty blender and press this in and i'm actually in a sense concealing first which i normally don't do oh my god Okay, this feels really nice. This is like a full coverage stick. Lord, give me better bags with this stuff. One thing I could not find was a concealer. I saw that Shea Moisture had some at Ulta, um, but I felt like they just weren't gonna be like, I don't know, brightening enough. So I kind of skipped on it and I was like, oh, I'll go get it before I film this video and it never happened. So anyway, I'm gonna take the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This one's in the shade oh champagne beige it's one of their newer shades i'm just gonna take a pump wow 
that dispenses a good amount it is liquidous this swatched really pretty on my skin so if you're like an NC 25 NC 30 in Mac this might be a, a good match might I say might because you know everyone's skin tone is different and it does start oxidizing a little bit right there but when I blended it in that section of my face that day it seemed fine every time I dot it on my face I think of calamine lotion when I was a kid and I had the chicken pox the same technique I always do and spray my brush this one's actually just an up and up brush and spray it with some homemade stuff It has kind of like a clay smell to it. Yeah, like a kind of like a clay scent. This is turning a little orangey on me. But I'm sure once I press it in with my beauty blender, it will be okay. I don't know. Again, I said I swatched it on my skin. It's actually turning it kind of orange. This foundation, though, it feels nice. You do feel it on the skin, so it's not like a lightweight foundation. Well, I'm already going big or go home, so I'm going to spray my sponge. And I like to blend with the sponge because I feel like it picks up any excess product. Um, I actually picked up the Black Radiance Translucent Pressed Powder. I prefer a loose powder under the eyes, but I can make it work. Go ahead and use my Cazetti Number 1 brush. And take it on both sides and press this under the eyes. I'm actually going to just be on the safe side and use this invisible oil blocking powder. This one's from Black Opal. It is oh, drop the sponge. This is actually gonna be really good. I'm just using it for under the eyes because I feel like I need to set under there really well. Oh, oh, butter. Ooh. This is actually a really nice powder too. You know how some powders you use and they're like just scratchy, you won't get any product in the brush? You get a good amount of product on the brush. Actually just brushing it on my T-zone. I feel like the foundation, maybe because I'm hot. There you go. It's just leaving stickiness. So I'm actually going to do my brows, and I'm going to do my brows with an eyeliner. I could not find, maybe I just didn't look hard enough for something for the brows. Which is kind of weird, because you would expect that as, I mean, Black Radiance has a full line of product. Yet, they don't have anything for the brows. Which I'm like, okay. So, I'm going to be brave enough and use the Black Radiance Continuous Cream Eyeliner. And this one's in Classic Black. Again... This isn't really black owned. Just. See, I'm not scared to have uh, dark black brows. Because my brows are naturally very dark. They're sparser lately for some reason. So I'm actually just going to. Like I would with the pomade, I'm actually just going to take, this is, oh, I didn't say anything. This is the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush. It's what I use to fill my brows with my Anastasia pomade. So, legit, I'm tapping it lightly on here. Like, lightly, it's not making a dent. And tapping it on the back of my hand. As you should with any brow product, ladies. Don't jump. There's a brow. I'm actually going to bronze up the face and then go on to the eyes. I know. Ass backwards today. Um, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the light medium shades. Uh, it tells you contour, sculpt, and highlights. I used these two before. I have been going for the contour shade and mixing it with the sculpt shade. This stuff is pigmented like, whoa, like... You gotta be very, very careful with this because I feel like it can just look muddy on someone with my skin tone and definitely lighter. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D 20 brush, which is what I've been using to bronze the skin with really pigmented bronzers, and I'm gonna take the contour 
shade. They actually both look very similar, to be honest. But I'm going to go in with the contour shade because it looks slightly, uh, you know, neutral. Um, even though they're both very warm. And I'm just going to... Like, I'm... I barely touch the product and look... Look at that. I'm actually just blending it in with the e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. I just thought this was a contour brush. I love contouring with this sucker, though. So I'm actually just blending out what I've placed with the fluffy brush. I'm actually going to take a little bit... Little bit uh, right there. And just... Too much. But this brush is amazing for blending. You guys have seen me apply my bronzer with this sucker plenty of times. I found this blush. I thought it was really, really pretty. This is the Black Radiance... Um, baked blush and this one's in the shade toasted almond I like more of the orangey toned blushes and this one was the closest to Whew. that is a uh, pigmentation 101 right there so I'm going to touch it lightly like I even picked up a lot and this is the Cassetti number three brush and I'm just going to ooh. as scary as this looks this is freaking stunning we're gonna do the eyes right now and you guys can see a close-up of my skin let me know if it look created up my bags look sad I didn't have a concealer I feel like going in with one of my own but no I refuse so I picked up the gorgeous Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 palette. Absolutely gorgeous. I actually have used it. The color that I'm planning on using today, I only swatched. So this is the beauty right here. The pans, look at my finger. The pan is huge. I'm just going to use my middle finger. But the pan is huge. I've swatched some of these, shown them off to a friend. This is the reason why I bought the palette. That one right there and because of Egypt. I did a gorgeous smoky eye with this green. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I've been wanting the Juvia's Place palettes for a while and then Nikki Tutorials did a video and all of a sudden it's gone viral, I guess. Um, but I was fine with picking this up and then I saw they came out with the masquerade palette and I was like why why but I really like these deeper tones right here and I wanted I really like the deeper tones right here so I decided not to wait for the masquerade palette that they came out with um but I kind of still want that one too but anyway I'm gonna take a floofy brush I'm gonna take my good old trusty Sonia Kashuk 109 brush, this beauty right here. And I'm gonna go in with a mix of Madagascar and Morocco. So I'm going to just roll the brush on each of those, tap off the excess and just hit my crease with that. I just tapped off the excess enough that I don't have too much on my eyelid. That's all. Take a little bit more Morocco, which is the orangey shade. And I'm actually just taking it all the way into the crease like the so. I'm going to go in with Cleopatra. So I'm using the Cassetti or the Cassette number 7 brush. It's like a paddle brush. Um, it's good for applying powders like this. These are very creamy. So I'm actually just taking it and just pressing and pulling down. And I'm going to press it onto the... Oh my god. Hello, Blue. How are you? I'm actually just pressing this onto the lid and I'm gonna go back in with my finger. And I, I guess I'm planning on getting more POW than this, but finger application usually gives you a lot more POW. There is some fallout with that, so uh, be mindful of that. Most eyeshadows do have fallout, go figure. I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush, take the blue, and take this on the crease. I want that smokiness of the blue to hit that orange and just kind of blend. Like so. You see how it actually almost changed that color. 
I'm gonna take a Kazetti S175 brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Kenya, which is like a deep brown with like a tinge of purple. And I'm just gonna hit that on the outer V here. Go in with Zuri and take that on the inner corner just to brighten that up a smidge. And just hit some of that under the brow. So I'm going to take my Smith 220 brush and go back in with Cleopatra, which is... I'm going to go back in with the blue shade, Cleopatra, and take that under the lash line. I'm just going to take the blending brush I used earlier and just blend that with no additional product. So I'm gonna take my baby eyeliner, and this one is a Royal and Land Nickel brush. It is very, very small and precise, and it's a 20 out of zero brush. I think that's the size. And I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance Classic Black Eyeliner and just line my eyes. So I'm going to take a Cosetti number 11 brush and take some of that eyeliner. And I like to actually tight line with my cream liners. So let's see how good. Yeah, I like to tight line and do the waterline. So I picked up the Black Radiance Full Effect Mascara. It has argan oil on it, in it. I don't know, it has the flexible uh, plush volume. I don't know, it says it conditions and all that stuff. We shall see, you guys know I'm very picky with my um, mascaras, so this is the packaging right here. It has a rubber bristle, very flexible. No bad scent, and I'm gonna just go in and uh, Slap it on my lashes. To clean up my under eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blotting powder. And it's translucent, but I'm legit just trying to clean up any fallout. I picked up for highlighter, I wanted to get the Natasha Denona highlighters, one of them, but I held off because I'm actually gonna add it to my collection or I'm actually going to add a couple to my collection uh, later on. But what I did was I picked up a Juvia's Place single eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Carlotta or Carlota. And it's this beauty right here. Now, when I swatched it and I put it on my skin, it was an exact dupe in my eyes to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Peach Goddess. This is my favorite highlighter. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter in Peach Goddess, and this is Carlotta, and they look very, very similar. They swatch differently. The pigmentation on the Carlotta eyeshadow, to me, is actually a little bit better. It's a lot more smoother and no glitters to it, almost non-existent glitters to it. So personally, once they're blended into the skin, they're the same thing, except I feel the sheen on this a hundred times better. So. I'm going to take my trusty, um, this is my up and up brush, this is what I use to highlight. I'm going to take some on my cheeks now and I will show you guys. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. This is a freaking gorgeous gorgeous highlighting shade right there and it's like the perfect amount of peachy gold I legit just highlighted my whole face so I just sprayed my face with some of that homemade Mac fix plus and I'm just fanning myself I'm actually gonna go with the shade Mars. This one's from Colored Rain. This is their matte lip paints. Is it matte lip paints? Yep, matte lip paints. 
or matte lip paint. And I mean, I haven't tried, did I try this one yet? No, I haven't swatched this one yet on my lips. How did I get, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. You guys, oh my God, you guys have been seeing my mirror there the whole time? I trust. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Just almost got it up my nose. This has no scent. The packaging is plastic, like most um, liquid lipsticks, but I tried on one of the shades. I will be doing a haul for you guys anyway, but I tried on one of the shades. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Oh yeah. So my loves, there you have it. This is the look that I completed using black owned makeup brands along with women of color friendly brands. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.